A long hair pin is formed by bending an infinitely long wire as shown. Uh, if a current of 4.4 ampere is set up in the wire, what is the magnitude of the magnetic field at the point A? Assume that R is equal to the 5 centimeters. Okay, so we have to find basic magnetic field at point A, uh, net magnetic field or total magnetic field. Now, the, the direction of the current in the wire is set uh, as a counterclockwise. And therefore, uh, we assume that, okay, if it's counterclockwise, then magnetic field in this case will be out of the page, okay? Out of the page. And then we need to find B net, okay, at point A. Uh, I divided this wire into three parts. As you can see here, infinite long wire one, then semicircle, which is two, and again, long wire three. Uh, the formula for the uh, for the part two or for the part uh, the second wire, uh, the formula for the B is B is equal mu naught current divided by the two uh, R. Okay, this is actually this formula for the whole circle. Okay. This is a current, but however, in our case, it is a semicircle, so therefore we have to take half of this one. Uh, so therefore, uh, I can say that it's for the semicircle. Semicircle uh, will be one over two, so that that will give us mu naught i divided by four r. Okay, for the semicircle. Uh, now. For the first part and the third part, so for the first part and for the third part, we have equation formula. Now, if you take long infinite wire, if you take the long infinite wire, this is infinite, this is infinite. And if you want to find what is the magnetic field at this point, this is our distance at this point of p okay let's say it's point p and this is the radius or distance from point to the wire and we want to find magnetic field when you have infinite wire and you want to find magnetic field at point b then there is a formula where you have b is equal mu naught current divided by 2 pi r okay but however However, in our case, in the wire 1 and the wire 3, we are just looking for half of the infinite wire, okay? So that means we're not considering this one, but however, we're considering only the half of the wire, then what we have to do is basically we have to divide by 2, right? So that means uh, mu naught i divided 2 pi r, Multiply to the half of it, okay? Because we are looking for half infinite. So I call it half infinite, okay? That will give us mu naught current divided by 4 pi r. Now, another way of solving it is basically using the, the Biosovat law. Uh, in that case, what we have, we have uh, a B is equal to the mu naught current divided by 4 pi r. And angle will be sine theta 1 plus sine theta 2. Okay. Uh, so I think we don't need to use this. So, so the first theta 1 will be a 0. The other one will be theta 2 will be a 90 degree. Okay. I don't need to explain it. Uh, so the easy way is just to take uh, this formula. Okay. Now... The finally, I think finally, we just have to sum all the magnetic fields. So I would say that uh, B net is equal to the, the wire 2 had a, a formula where mu naught current, current divided by the 4R plus for the wire 1, what do we get? We get... Uh, mu naught current divided 4 pi r plus 
for the wire 3 is same one so the mu naught current divided by 4 pi r so the finally we got a uh, mu naught current divided by 4 r plus mu naught current divided by 2 pi r so that's it uh, if you plug the numbers you should get the answer